everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're answering the question, does toothpaste expire? And before we jump in, if you ever have a specific dental question, type your question into Google and type teeth talk at the end and then you'll see a video or article of me explaining the answer. Okay, so the answer to this question, does toothpaste expire, is annoying. It's an annoying answer, sorry. But the answer is kinda yes, but kinda no, but mostly yes. This is because one, it depends on the type of toothpaste we're talking about. And two, it depends what you're trying to get out of it. Are you trying to prevent cavities? Are you trying to just get fresh breath? Let me explain further. One of the main and most important ingredients in toothpaste is fluoride. What fluoride does is it strengthens enamel, fights off cavities and tooth decay, and remineralizes teeth. It's the main reason we use toothpaste. There are also pyrophosphates in most toothpastes, which help reduce tartar formation, abrasives, which polish teeth and reduce surface stains, and a bunch of other flavors to make it taste pleasant, detergents to make it foamy, and sometimes even desensitizers to help with tooth sensitivity, and whitening agents to brighten and whiten teeth. However, back to the main ingredient, fluoride. Fluoride is the main ingredient that causes toothpaste to expire because it degrades over time, thus making the toothpaste less effective in preventing cavities. And if your toothpaste isn't preventing cavities, the health of your teeth are at a disadvantage. Now, generally the typical shelf life for a tube of toothpaste is around two years. Some toothpastes show the expiration dates and others don't. Either way, after toothpaste expires, they may change flavor and color. This isn't necessarily dangerous. So can you use it? Sure. But it's no longer as effective as it once was. Again, we're talking about the fluoride preventing the cavities. So having said all of this, you may be wondering, what about fluoride-free toothpastes? With the fluoride-free toothpaste, it is still worth checking the expiration dates. Again, if they don't have an expiration date, it's not recommended to use it if it's over two years old as well. This is because even if someone isn't worried about the fluoride being less effective, the rest of the toothpaste can still be dried out, which whatever, but the gross part is that it can start growing bacteria. And I don't think anyone wants to brush their teeth with toothpaste tube bacteria. So if you have a bunch of expired toothpaste on your hands, my final thought is you probably shouldn't use it on your mouth. But but I don't think you have to throw it away either because there are lots of ways to use it around the house. Expired toothpaste is great for cleaning foggy car headlights, shining diamonds, removing crayon from walls, and whitening the rubber part of your gym shoes, all these cool things. There's lots of little fun hacks. You can find a million of them online. But one that I want to shed light on before we go, I always thought spot treating a pimple with toothpaste was a thing, but I've recently learned that it's not good for your skin actually because it could irritate your skin because of the exfoliants and or the whitening ingredients in the toothpaste. So really, it could make you break out even more especially if it's expired and has bacteria growing in the tube. So don't use it as an acne spot treatment. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you all on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.